I will say the second three hours I thought were more interesting than the first three hours, which bored me to tears. Mm -hmm. Now, finally, we got down to some juice, um, some dirt that they wanted Mm -hmm. to spew. But I remain convinced that their number one complaint and they don't like the mean media. The media is mean, Maureen. They're mean. They weren't going to say nice things about Megan. This, I like you. I watched all three episodes today. I really, you know, earning our paychecks this week, Megan, I think. Uh, <laughs> yes. What to me, wh- my biggest takeaway is that these two are their greatest offense is that they are boring. They are, yes, seething with rage, with jealousy, with resentment. They move about the world with a remarkable lack of self-awareness. They cannot take a note of criticism, and you are 100% right about the lack of accountability. You know, these two such enlightened souls, these global humanitarians who talk so much about the importance of love and treating each other with kindness and giving back and, you know, my favorite phrase is standing in your truth and taking up Mm. space, all of this gobbledygook. Um, And there is, you know, for two narcissists, the lack of introspection, I mean, maybe it's not that surprising. They are narcissists, right? So they're they're never in the wrong. They're never going to put a foot wrong. Um, And to your point, I also was sort of my jaw was hanging open when Harry complained that his brother yelled at him during the Sandringham summit with the Queen. Right. Like, grow up. Okay. First of all, whether it's true or not, if it's true, grow a pair. You're a prince, too. Stand up for yourself. You're a grown man. You're not 12 anymore. The whole thing, he's sort of weirdly effeminate and soft and incapable of actually sounding and acting like a man. But all of his rhetoric is very manly. I had to protect my family. I had to protect my wife. I had to protect my... It's like, but what you're actually doing is crying in your soup over mean media articles, which they make it sound, Maureen, you are in media. You, I'm in media. We're, we live in this toxic world. We know better than anyone how this works. And having been the subject of a gazillion nasty articles, I have no sympathy for them. I got to tell you, it's like, I, I too have been the target of a, I don't care. Life goes on. You understand it's part of the deal and you don't spend your grown up life whining about it. I could not agree with you more. I could not agree with you more. And you know, this sort of avalanche of negative press that they keep carping on about, you know, is really quite a fiction. In the, in the beginning of this second volume of uh, this reality series, we see an abundance of positive press. They open with the wedding itself. They open with, you know, Meghan marveling that there were 115,000 people lining the streets and cheering. We learn that not only did Charles enthusiastically walk Meghan halfway up the aisle, but that the queen, when presented with this idea of having a gospel choir at the ceremony, which had never been done at a royal wedding before, she not only immediately greenlit the idea, but suggested that what they do was to take the best vocalists from every gospel choir in England and commingle them into one giant supergroup. So, you know, again, these complaints, it's it's like they're rooting around for things to be aggrieved by, and it's it's utterly perplexing. Uh, on the list, this is one of the greatest. They they are unhappy with the cottage they lived in while at Kensington Palace. Their facilities were too small, Maureen. Oh, I <laughs> Oprah know. Came the for low a visit. Ceilings. And she was horrified. Even Oprah, the the other queen, was horrified by their living conditions. Oh, I loved how they just casually dropped in. Remember Oprah came over for tea? You know, I loved also when Megan casually dropped in. Oh, Beyonce just texted me. She said I was an agent for generational change and healing trauma. (laughs) That happened. like this. That happened. But in the, it's like what's great about it is the very next message in all these scenes is poor me, poor us. We had it so hard. I want to show people a little bit of what you just said. We've got the Beyonce moment um, on tape. This is hot eight. Beyonce just texted. Really? Just checking. 
just checking in, just casual. I still can't believe she knows who I am. Gonna call her. No, it's okay. She said she just wants me to feel safe and protected. She admires and respects my bravery and vulnerability and she thinks I was selected to break generational curses that need to be healed. Mm. That's all well said. This is after the Oprah interview. Just just so happens that she decided to read that and get that text when the cameras were rolling for their documentary. Right, exactly. And then my other favorite sort of quote unquote private moment they share is after the Oprah interview airs and they're in their kitchen and Harry or H as Megan infuriatingly calls him, uh, <laughs> holds up his cell phone, his iPhone and she says, what? And he says, it's a text from my brother. And she gets up and she rolls her eyes and she says, I'm not going to say anything about your brother, but you know, it's your brother. Yeah. It's his, you know, yeah. like he's such an, a jerk. He's such a, yeah. it's, it's, it's that kind of passive aggressive shadow boxing that she does that is just, it just makes her so profoundly unlikable. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, the brother's going to wind up king, and these two are going to wind up a couple of podcasters in Montecito. So it's like, okay, that's fine. I have a podcast, but you know, Megan, I wasn't a royal, so it's not a fault to get a podcast at this point. <laughs> I don't think Spotify is renewing Megan's archetypes for season two. Oh, I doubt- how could they? It's the Christmas and holiday season. Time for gift giving, parties with friends and family, and getting compliments everywhere you go. And looking years younger everywhere you go, thanks to Genucel. Millions of people love Genucel's products. From now through Christmas, you can get them, and you can get them for a big discount. Genucel's most popular package, that's all their best stuff, is 70% off. 70 at Genucel.com. And there are other discounts, so you're barely paying for these products at this point. Treat yourself and a loved one to the absolute best skincare in the world. See those troubling forehead lines, fine wrinkles under your eyes, skin redness, pesky bags and puffiness, and even a sagging jawline disappear right before your eyes with Genucel's most popular collection. I like the most popular things. Sometimes you don't know, like, what do I need? What I All these products, they don't make sense to you. You just get the most popular package and they've idiot-proofed it for us. With its immediate effects product, you're gonna see results in less than 12 hours guaranteed or your money back. And included in every most popular package is your free hyaluronic acid serum for skin hydration that will restore your youthful appearance. Visit genicelle.com slash MK now. Enter my special promo code MK for an additional 10% off your entire order. Don't forget to say that. MK, MK, an additional 10% off. Every order today, instantly upgraded to free express shipping. Go to genucel.com slash MK60. That's G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash MK60. Genucel.com slash MK60. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.